Swim, swim, swim. Come on. Come on. You're okay, you're okay. You all right? You got it. What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button over here. Make sure you click that little bell to turn on all notifications as well. That way you'll be notified each and every time we upload a new content. Here behind me is Lake Hickory. This is part of where our shop is located at. However, I'm on the upper side of the lake right now. It's still winter time here. It's relatively cold. And two days ago, we were right here in this little water area here, the boat ramp access helping out with the North Carolina Special Olympics Polar Plunge. And I think this is the 15th year that it's been going on. We've been helping with it the last 11 years. We've been partnered with Hickory PD, Bethlehem Fire and Rescue, uh, Alexander County Rescue, and several other departments to provide safety divers or public safety divers in the water while people were jumping off the dock or freezing for a reason, if you would, for the polar plunge. But I want to show you something really quick uh, because I want to show you a video of just how quickly things can go wrong. And a lot of times when people think of public safety divers, they think that we're going under the water to retrieve dead bodies or we're going to get evidence. And it's not always like that. Sometimes we are actually going there or we're running some type of operation for water rescue or water safety. And that's what you're actually going to see in this video. But right here behind me is where everybody was jumping. And it's approximately about 8 to 10 foot here and then about 13 foot out here at the end of the dock. And in short, what happens is, is everybody jumps off the dock, they swim up into the ramp area and then walk out. Typically speaking, there's two to three personnel here on the dock. That's usually from the local fire department or the rescue squad. And they're typically dressed out in exposure suits. They've got their dry suits on, their PFDs. And then we have a line of divers out here and it's all our public safety divers. And we each have a job that we have to do. So the rescue personnel that's on the dock, basically what they do is, is if somebody's struggling, they can jump in real quick. They've got throw bags, they can grab onto them. However, the divers are there just in case somebody actually goes under the surface water rescue personnel are not going to be able to go under because obviously they got PFDs. The divers themselves, they can drop under the water real quick, grab onto somebody, or we're also there to clean up both before and after the events because a lot of people will actually wear some type of costume when they do this and so we're also here to clean up the environment as well but i want to show you a quick video of some of the things that can go wrong and how we handle it to give you a better idea of what public safety diving is all about Hey right, guys, so we're going to start this video out with just a little montage here. Um, this is what the polar plunge is all about. People were jumping in these freezing cold water temperatures, if you will, for the North Carolina Special Olympics, and all proceeds actually go to the Special Olympics. Everybody that you're going to see in the video is a volunteer, whether it's from the Hickory Police Department, our local fire department or rescue squad, or even our divers as well. We don't get paid to do this. This is all volunteer work. And a lot of people uh, assume that public safety diving is a career, and in itself it is a career, but there's a lot of volunteering that we do to actually give back to the community. Um, the structure that we've got set up here, what you're seeing now, is basically we've got three rescue personnel up on the uh, docks, got two firemen and then somebody, a member of the rescue squad there. Um, of course, you have the jumpers, and then we have the divers approximately 10 to 15 feet away um, and we've got a line that line is stretched out there it's got a buoy where we can hand off to it um, but as they jump in if somebody starts to panic or whatnot depending on the situation and how se severe that panic is either one of the divers will just simply jump under the line here and and grab onto them and swim the person in or one of the rescue personnel on land can actually either jump in or throw a bag at them um, what you're seeing now, this young man had jumped in and he was panicking, but he, he was your typical uh, panicker, if you will. Instead of swimming in the direction that he was meant to go in, he actually started swimming directly at me. So instead of hesitating, I went ahead and took action jump in there and I just let him come right after me. One of the key features I want to show in this too is 
Uh, don't panic if you're the rescuer. Um, think about the equipment that you're wearing. With what I had on, the buoyancy compensator that I'm wearing, my full face mask, there was no way possible that he was going to take me under with him. So being completely inflated, I just relaxed. I let him grab onto me, and then, of course, I could swim him in. In this next clip, that group of divers there, and I'm going to pause it here temporarily. Um, this group of divers right here, the young lady on the far right, that is Miss Summer. Summer works for us. She has been with us for a little under a year now. Um, the young lady in the middle there, that is my oldest daughter, Tessa. You guys have seen her in plenty of videos. And then the gentleman over on the left-hand side, that is one of the plungers, one of the uh, Special Olympic or Special Olympians. Um, and they all jump together. And what I want you to notice in this clip is just how quickly an emergency will happen and then we will break it down and, and go into slow-mo for you and show you how we handled that situation. But to give you a little better understanding, I'm the gentleman in the orange dry suit on the far left-hand side. I'm the, actually the second diver up. Uh, and then my daughter is there in the middle. And I want you to watch what happens to my daughter when I hit play here. So she starts swimming, you'll notice she goes under just temporarily, it's not very long, maybe a half a second to a full second, um, and then she just pops right back up. Well, I'm going to slow the footage down, and I want you to see what I saw just being a mere few feet away from her here. But as she swims in, we'll, we'll redo the clip here. They jump in, all three of them go under, they pop up, they immediately start swimming, and then watch closely. As the Special Olympian starts to swim, you'll notice Tessa is actually going under. That's because she is being pushed under by the Special Olympian. And of course, as I'm reaching to grab her, she pops back up. Well, the reason she pops back up is actually Miss Summer that works for us is a lifeguard. That's what she does for a living as well outside of working here. And so she immediately went into lifeguard mode. And as soon as she noticed that somebody went under, she reached over and grabbed. But what is causing this is the Special Olympian is basically panicking. And when panic sets in, the fight or flight response kicks in. And basically, you're going to do everything that you can to survive. You go into survival mode. And in this instance, basically his survival was grab on to whatever he could to push himself up and out of the water. And that just happened to be my daughter at the time. Um... I want to watch from a different angle here. This is actually from my angle. This is from my point of view where the camera is on my full face mask. And you can see it's just very quick when it happens. And there he pushed her under. She popped right back up. You can see Summer's got a, a good hold on her there. And then, of course, I'm giving her verbal commands to swim, swim, swim. And it kicks in. Now, the cool thing is, is my daughter didn't panic in any way, shape, or form. She was able to be relaxed during this. And she's a diver, just like us, guys. You know, I train her all the time in this. But that is some of the stuff that we deal with when we're dealing with events like this and how panic will actually take a hold of someone while underwater. So as you can see, guys, public safety divers, we have more roles than just going after evidence or going after drowning victims. We actually run water rescue operations. Uh, we provide rescue divers and public safety divers for events like this all the time. It's just part of the job description. But I want to give a huge shout out to Miss Summer Sigmund. Uh, she has been with us less than a year, and she's one of the best employees we've got. Uh, she got certified as a lifeguard through our local YMCA, and you know the skills that she learned from being a lifeguard saved my own daughter's life so i want to give her a huge shout out and tell her thank you guys down in the comment section below let's light up the comment section thanking miss summer just drop a little thank you i know she'd appreciate it and as the father of one of the victims or one of the people that needed to be rescued i definitely uh, would appreciate it as well but guys i hope you like this video if you got any questions on public safety diving drop me a comment down below i'll try to answer it the best i can but guys if you did like this video smash that thumbs up button and definitely share it as well guys as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business.